Daddy and I were inseparable. From that first date on, we were inseparable, and he actually asked me to marry him uh, by about our fifth. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you're, I'm so right, aren't I? Kid, this is why we've been married so long, because you're right, dear. I know. <laughs> and um, so it was about our fifth date that your daddy asked me to marry him, and I said yes. And three months to the day, we walked down the aisle. I got pregnant with Allie, and life was normal. Life was just perfect. Uh, we were, we had our family, we were starting our, our life, um, and everything was completely normal uh, up until I got pregnant with Mitchell. And then uh, when I was pregnant with Mitchell, uh, I was about seven months along, six months along, when Allie started to get very, very sick. And we didn't know what was wrong. We went to doctor after doctor after doctor, uh, saw numerous specialists, and nobody could tell us why our daughter was so sick. She was uh, losing weight. Um, she couldn't eat. A, a good day was um, when I could get just a couple of bites of food in her, um, and in, within a matter of months, she wasted away. Um, she went from being just a normal little girl to uh, almost dying. I went into labor and had Mitchell, and then on day seven, uh, Mitchell was also very, very sick. Um, he couldn't breathe. And I remember I knew something horrific was wrong. I was um, feeding my baby, and uh, all of a sudden he was struggling for breath. And I, I woke Clay up. And I said, Clay, I said, there's something wrong with the baby. I said, he's not breathing right. Put him on a respirator. Um, and we almost lost him. We came so extremely close to losing both of our children. I got the phone call. I remember uh, my mom said, the doctor's on the phone. And I picked it up and she said, something in your son's blood work warrants an AIDS test. I suggest that your whole family be tested. Clay's results came back first and he was negative. He did not have HIV. Um, I was ecstatic. I, I was still in denial and I was holding out hope that this could not possibly be AIDS. My test result was different. When I called with my number, they put me on hold, and uh, finally a woman came on the line, and she said, I'm sorry to tell you this, Mrs. Meredith. She says, but you have tested positive for the HIV antibody. I said to her, um, I have another number that I have to give you. And she said, another number? I said, yes. I said, um, it's my little girl. And she said, oh my God, um, how old is she? And I said, she's six. And by this time I already knew, I just knew that, you know, this is what we had been uh, fighting with. This is what we had been struggling with. And um, she said, I'm so sorry, she's positive. I had never in a million years imagined that it would, would be because of me. And, um, but it was, uh, and that's how my children were infected. And it wasn't hard for me to trace back um, where I contracted the virus. Um, I hadn't had a lot of sexual partners. I um, had been in love with a young man that I was engaged to, who I was told died of cancer, which he most likely probably did, but what? we didn't know was that it was an AIDS-related cancer. But I have, to, I have to say that as difficult as it was to be diagnosed with HIV, it was our diagnosis that literally saved us. Um, it, it saved my children. They, they were closer to dying than any, any two children that you, you could imagine. Um, the next step was to bury them. The I next mean. step was to bury them. And we immediately put our children on uh, a very difficult regimen of medicine. The, the kids were little. Um, we'd have to crush the pills and mix it in pudding, and um, we'd clap and cheer, and, and somehow our children took this medicine, and day by day, they got healthier. I mean, it was... It was Within months. The most miraculous. They were, within months, they were, they were almost completely... Uh, I mean, it was the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, literally, right in front of my eyes, my children were given back to me. And we are um, so thankful that 
uh, Clay never did contract the virus. Um, we're married 24 years, and he is, was, and still is HIV negative. Well, now we're at a point to where, you know, our kids thrive. Our kids are an absolute picture of health. I went on the computer, and uh, Clay and I had, had talked a little bit about adoption, but I'd actually gone on the computer to look for a child to sponsor. So when I looked at him, I saw Allie and Mitchell and what we had already gone through in our lives, and I, I, uh, I wanted to bring him home. I wanted to give him a good life. At first, uh, when you saw the person give me up to mom or dad, I was so worried, where am I going? But then, when you move on in life, uh, you see these people and they love you. And that surprises you. This family is my favorite family I've ever had. <laughs> my biggest goal in life was uh, that I raise my children unashamed. And it was through them that I learned to be open. Allie was the catalyst. <laughs> Uh, and she, in fact, said to me one day, she says, Mom, she says, what are you ashamed of? I was never ashamed of my disease. Never. And so keeping it a secret made it seem like I had to feel ashamed to be who I was, to be me. I've lived with it uh, my entire life. You know, it's just been a normal feeling to me, you know. I'd never, you know, not had it, so. I really don't think of HIV. I really don't think about it since I just keep it away. I don't want that to be my main thing about distraction. Instead, I would want to just look at the world and go like, I'm just, I'm just like a normal kid that just has HIV. I have, I have a lot of dreams. I have so many dreams for my children and my family. And I just, I fully believe that one day they will be HIV free. I do believe that we're gonna see a cure. I've been around a lot of folks that, that do um, advocacy work, research and things like that, and I don't, uh, um, I, I don't hear some of the things that I hear since I've been around this group, Amphar. Every other word out of their mouth is the cure, the cure, and so many people are afraid to say that and they're not. And so I'm very thankful to be a part of this group now, and I'm very thankful that we get this opportunity to help them help us. As difficult as that experience was, we survived it. We survived it. And I, I truly believe that uh, we will live to see the cure.